Does a 1 mean it's the equivalency to prison slope? Does a 10 mean you are welcome into Valhalla itself? Who the f*** knows? A lot of people do anime reviews, but considering they're all subjective reviews, it's really hard to give context for what their scoring means. So here's a quick understanding of my review scale to put some context behind whether or not an anime f***s or sucks. I'm not a hard grader. I tend to enjoy even shitty animes to a degree, and very few things do I think you should avoid watching at all. I have to think something is really bad, but not so bad it's worth the watch for you to watch it. That being said, I do a 1 through 10 scale, where only two of the numbers that actually fall into the do not watch category. My scale is really broken down into sections. Starting off at 9 and 10. These are going to be anime that I think you need to watch. The major difference between a 9 and a 10 is the rewatchability and any slight drawbacks to the anime, such as how hard was it to get into, how much of a time commitment is it, rewatchability, etc. The next section would be 6, 7, and 8. This is the standard zone of worth the watch, with 6 being mildly entertaining, a 7 being decently enjoyable, and an 8 being highly enjoyable. The placement in these zones means there's some drawbacks, and depending on how much of those drawbacks bothered me is where I place it. Four and five. This is where it gets a little bit sketchy. With the five placing an anime in the casual watch category, meaning something you don't really care about but turn on in the background while you're cooking dinner for white noise, a four is basically the same thing, but you probably want to be a little bit inebriated in having a pint. You poured yourself a, a mega pint of red wine, correct? A mega pint. This is really where we start to get into things that I particularly don't think are good. The next section, two and three, is the do not watch category. Now you might be thinking, what about a one though? We will get to that. If an anime lands in this zone, it means it was not good and you shouldn't lose the time in your life to watch it because time is valuable. And if you're going to die in life, you're better off not having watched this. <laughs> We have reached the bottom, the area where you see something so horrendous or so cult classic that you cannot help but recommend it to your friends in order to share an experience together. Somehow, something so transcendently bad that everyone has to watch it. It's a wild ride. Maybe something that can make a drinking game with its horrendous lines of saying. One is ranked for things so bad that they have to be watched. Now you know why we weird halfling rating scale for watching anime. As we add more anime reviews, hopefully this gives you some clue as to what I think is worth watching. I don't really consider myself a great reviewer of the animes or a great connoisseur of the animes, more as someone who just enjoys binge watching anime in between streaming, working on these scripts and living in the capitalistic hellscape that I have to navigate through in this world.